Hello everyone, bringing you a quick video today, uh, which is slightly different from ones I've done previously, but uh, I have a small display cabinet which I like to rotate the contents of, and I've put photographs up of this on, on Facebook on several occasions uh, when I've changed the display, but I thought it might actually be worth covering in a video, talking a little about, a bit about the different uh, artifacts that are in the, the cabinet, uh, some of which are reproduction, most of which are original, and just run through the bits and pieces that are in there. I thought it might be of interest to people. So uh, without further ado, we'll have a quick look at the contents of the uh, display cabinet that I have uh, laid out at the moment. OK, it's a little bit awkward to film in here, but I'm going to do my best. As I say, I just thought this would make a nice adjunct to the mannequin videos and so forth, show you a different way of displaying some of the small items from my collection that I have, uh, just one shelf in this display cabinet. Um, but uh, it works quite well. Uh, as it is now, it's basically it's somewhat based on the contents of Fusilier Paints, Haversack and Pockets and so forth. So Normandy, basically, uh, 1944, uh, British Infantry, 1944. Uh, and over here on the left, and we'll start at the left at the front and work around, we have a Valet Autostrop Razor in its case, as you can see there. Uh, this is something I've previously done a video on. I did an unboxing video on it when it arrived. Uh, so I'll put a card to that in the corner of the video if you're interested to see more on that. Um, moving back here, we have a little bar of sunlight soap, as you can see, in front of the boil sweets and salt and matches tin. And that is, of course, behind. Uh, this is uh, something that would have come from Composition Ration and obviously contains boiled sweets, salt, and a, I believe it was matches in a book. Uh, it was the contents of that or, or a book or, or more um, of matches. Above this we have the water sterilising outfit which contains uh, both the sterilising and the uh, Theo tablets which are, or Thio tablets, which are intended to take away the taste as far as I remember. Um, the instructions of course are on the, on the inside of the lid there as you can see. Have it propped up there. Uh, moving across we have a, uh, a shaving brush and a Bakelite container for a shaving a stick, the shaving soap, um, behind which of course is the Guide to France that was issued to men uh, invaded during the invasion of Normandy, uh, the landings in Normandy, uh, obviously uh, to give them some guidance on uh, French culture, road signs, all sorts of bits and pieces in there. It's a reproduction, uh, it comes from Soldier of Fortune, and behind that we have some invasion money as well tucked away. It slipped down a little bit, but uh, uh, it was the best way I had of displaying that. In front of the guide we have here a toothbrush, uh, as you can see, this is actually a, a late war. This is a 1945 dated example, but nevertheless, a nice thing. Nice to have an original toothbrush in the um, in the hold all there. And then next to that, we have a uh, what is actually a tube of toothpaste, a uh, tube of uh, oil paint, excuse me, uh, in place of toothpaste. It's the right sort of size for a toothpaste tube of the time, and it's a metal tube with uh, the right sort of shape of plastic cap, so it looks quite good. Uh, find it at the back here, um, in the middle, uh, for looking at what's in the middle, you can see there is actually a pencil there, obviously writing, uh, accoutrements for writing basically, and then in the forward, uh, in part of the, the middle of the screen here, you can see the identity discs, uh, of course. Uh, moving along again, we have uh, a comb, a simple comb, uh, I think Fusilier Payne, in, his, in the photographs of his equipment, is actually carrying a hairbrush. A hairbrush does have some advantages because it, it does clean your hair a little bit more than using a comb. Obviously a comb, there's a lot less bulk in carrying a comb, so I've included a comb there in the hold all. Uh, at the back here we can see the soldier's pay book, the AB64. Behind that we have an active service envelope which obviously can be used to send um, letters back to uh, loved ones and so forth at home. Then we have next to that the emergency ration tin, and this of course contains the emergency ration chocolate, which does not contain amphetamine, uh, much as that's been a uh, recently pro promulgated uh, myth regarding uh, emergency ration chocolate. It does not contain amphetamine, as already mentioned in previous videos we've done looking at British rations. Uh, in front of that we have spare boot laces for the ammo boots, spare leather boot laces. And then on the very far right here we have a shaving mirror in its case. And then all this is laid out on top of a hold all, uh, cotton hold all, as you can see there. So that's what I have in the display cabinet at the moment. And as I say, I'll probably do another video of these in the future when I change what's in there. Uh, but this is what I have at the moment. I, I, again, a bit like the mannequin, I like to change it every month, every two months or so, just to keep the smaller items of the collection uh, on view and in rotation to remind me just what I've got. Because when it's all in boxes and drawers and things, it, uh, it, uh, it can get um, forgotten about. So uh, there it is. There we are, that's a quick run through of the contents of the display cabinet as I have them at the moment. Uh, they do change fairly regularly, so at some point in the future I will I'll probably do another one of these videos when I have them 
uh, set up differently when I have this uh, other bits and pieces laid out in the cabinet for display. Um, but it's just a nice thing to be able to do and it's nice to rotate them. I have the mannequin in the back room, I have the little display cabinet for the small kit. And it just means you can appreciate at least a small part of the collection um, for you know uh, for, for a, 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 an amount of time before you have to put it away again because it's not possible to have everything out on display, of course, much as it would be would be nice to. Um, some people can, uh, some people have their own little private museums, but unfortunately I'm not in that position uh, yet. Maybe in the future, we shall see. But anyway, that's everything I wanted to cover in this video. Uh, as usual, uh, if you like my videos, then please do consider subscribing if you haven't already. And uh, if you are already subscribed or newly subscribing, do make sure you've hit the little notification button, the little bell down there, alerts you when I upload future videos. Uh, there's also a Facebook and an Instagram page, which is a good place to uh, keep uh, keep up to date with what's going on, what events I'm attending and so forth. I also post photographs and things over there. So it's good to check those out uh, as well. Uh, links to both of those in the description as usual. And that's everything. So until next time, bye for now.